Hello there awesome viewer welcome back to endodology i am your host gorav and i am thrilled to have you to join me for this exciting video so today we are going to explore post detection using ml kit which is provided by google ml work really excites me a lot and when it's about having our hands on the technology the tech is like you and me can't just wait to see the magic happen so without wasting any time let's start with the video quickly gonna cover the introduction about the post detection uh, using the ml kit so here i landed on this developers.google.com and oppose that we can write uh, ml kit and now we have landed on to the machine learning for mobile developers site and uh, uh, maybe you guys are aware if you have watched my last videos that ml vision api provided by that ml uh, provides a variety of uh, APIs uh, for barcode scanning, face detection and a few more things like text recognition, image labeling. So today we are going to focus on this post detection. So let's get started with this. Okay, so this one is the description about the post post detection API. So as you can clearly see, you see in the pictures that post detection uh, something works like this. So what is really does it only uh, recognize all your parts uh, your points maybe uh, your mouth one and hands legs so if we scroll down uh, these points are called landmarks and as this is described it in the diagram that uh, these are the few landmarks that uh, vision api recognizes through the camera maybe the scene behind this is image labeling but yeah on top of that pose detection is made so few of the landmarks are like your nose the zeroth position left eye inner so all these body parts of yours will be identified by the vision camera the post detection api is similar to the facial recognition api in that it returns a set of landmarks and their location so it is basically working like same as facial recognition api However, while face detection also tries to recognize features such as a smiling mouth or open eyes, but pore det detection doesn't attach any meaning to the landmark in a pose or the pose itself. So basically it doesn't uh, recognize your expression, it only detects the body part. So let's quickly have a look what pose detection API give us in terms of result. So here is a list of sample results. Uh, where we can see like uh, different landmarks are positioned in a different coordinates in the image like if we can uh, if we see an example of left shoulder so this one is the left shoulder and the in the whole image this is position and this coordinate so maybe basically uh, working further on the positions of uh, these different coordinates you can you can put an algorithm on top of it to uh, make a decision like in what exactly pose a person is standing or maybe person is positioned okay and the other thing is like the pose detection api works with single image and stream both so don't get confused here guys uh, the stream is uh, simply a video so basically it works both with image and video and okay so let's further see uh, what android implementation consists in this documentation so let's go to that uh, android part okay fine so so this api uses a bundle library so which means that uh, all the all the content of the library or sdk that you will be integrating into your android app will be compiled uh, with your apk file so i think there are two sdks the post detection normal and the post detection accurate maybe this is giving a uh, highly accurate uh, output out uh, from the sdk so as the library is bundled so it it will surely impact your app size guys so the post detection api will uh, aroundly uh, increase your app to the 10.1 mb and uh, for the accurate one it is 13 point something mb okay 13.3 mb okay further uh, this sdk can also employ gpu and cpu settings both uh, 
so the devices that only have cpu that doesn't have gpu it will uh, use gpu on cpu only and uh, devices which have gpu also so it will use a uh, gpu along with the cpu to give a better output out of this so below is the like uh, implementation of this api uh, before uh, going into the actual implementation let's go to the android studio and let's create a project for this project uh, let's suppose with the empty activity i would say uh let's say it vision api sample the package name would be same no problem that so i've saved this project to a different location and uh, let's start with kotlin only and the minimum sdk would be 24 which is totally fine okay so it is downloading my platform 33 let's give it a moment okay cool so we have created a new project for this demo and uh, so basically this video was all about the introduction of this uh, pose detection api and further in the next video we will be seeking into the implementation there in the coding part of this api so thank you so much guys uh let's meet in the next video